All right, drama on the engine. Um, it's taking pistons out. There's a little bit of uh, water up and underneath some of the uh, caps here. Um, I kind of expected that when I uh, pulled the pan out and there was some water in there. Um, the only problem so far that I'm facing is number four piston. Uh, I'm assuming that when the guy put it in there, he stripped this because there is no way that that nut right there is coming off of that piston. This one came off just fine, but uh, this one, you can put a wrench on it and it'll just twist, twist, twist. Um, all the other ones came out just fine. However, there's uh, a little bit of scoring on some of these um, journals. So, I think it was this one here. Yeah. Um, this is number five. And there is a nice groove running straight down through there. Like something had gotten in the uh, in between the the bearing and the journal. You see it running right there. Uh, yeah. Some piece of dirt. Who knows. Um, anyway. They, they look pretty clean other than that. But uh, there was a little bit of emulsified oil on some of those rings. And it's actually funny that when I pulled out number six this one here number six it just uh the um one of the rings just popped right off of, on its own so obviously i'm going to take this to the uh the, the machinist to uh take a look at it and i'm going to pop that uh, that little nut off somehow all right what you're looking at is the um number five piston this is one of the the cap bolts and then this nut here is stuck on there so just watch i mean i'm just barely even twisting this and it's just spin 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 so really what happened here is when the guy that originally put this engine back together he um he stripped it he had to have so what i'm doing is i'm i put on a pair of vice grips and i'm going to yank up on it see if i can get it to jump start on a thread but if that doesn't work then i'll uh, probably cut it having a hard time focusing it but uh if you see the shiny uh, right over on this stud. Well, that's that's where it was stripped out. I ended up cutting it off. I cut the nut off. Um, I'm going to get new pistons anyway. They're not horrible, but um, yeah, I don't like finding Easter eggs, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy new ones. It's kind of hard to see, but you can actually see that piston bolt is actually stretched. Um, it's thicker than thin, 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 and then right at the end there where it was not torqued, um, you can tell that it was, it was, uh, it was definitely stretched. I would not be using this again. I kind of buggered up the end cap just a tiny bit when I was cutting it off. Um, you know what, whatever. Like I said, I'm getting new ones. They don't look horrible. I accidentally said this is number five earlier, but this is actually number four. Um, uh, number five had the scoring in the journal bearing. And then number six, one of the rings just popped right off, so anyway, whatever. Um, this thing probably only has a couple hours on it anyway. And uh, from what I can tell, it doesn't even doesn't even look bad at all. Um, I was looking on the, uh, the cam down in here. Uh, I don't have a light on this camera, but uh, there's paint in there. So when he, uh, when he painted this engine, he didn't do a very good job of masking it off. So we're going to start again. I, uh, I'm looking forward to getting this engine out to the machinist and uh, doing some work on it. I'm going to go ahead and pull the, uh, the crank pulley off today. i got to go down and go get a, go get a uh, um, harmonic balance puller to pull off the uh, timing chain. And I might pull the cam. I might just leave it in there. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure how I'm going to deliver this to my machinist. He said strip it completely. He wanted everything separate. That's why I'm doing this. Um, otherwise, I would have just given him the whole engine and said go for it, but uh, he wanted it completely stripped. So, I will do that. This is horrible. I don't know what is wrong with my camera, why it's not focusing. But uh, another Easter egg I found on the, uh, the 223 is these first couple threads are jacked up. There's actually a missing thread right there. This is what came out of the crank. Um, I pulled the crank pulley off this was threaded in here um and when i pulled it out i took a look at that and sure enough i didn't have any problem getting in and or out um it was just when i pulled it out obviously it's been jacked up so obviously this is going to get replaced too i don't even think i can even fix that with a uh, tap die set so 
hopefully the, the crank's not jacked up. There's another fun fact is there's something stuck inside there. Um, I don't know what it is, but I'm going to get a screwdriver out and pull it out, so hang on. No, screwdriver wouldn't pop it out, but uh, let me see if I can grab hold of it. That's it. I don't know what it is. Um, looks like a piece of metal or a piece of plastic, so that's, uh, that's odd. Alright, this is the inside of the timing chain cover, and just take my fingernail and you can just scrape the crud right off of the inside. Um, it, you know, the seal looks okay. It's like kind of pounded the crap out of it. Um, when I took the, the timing chain cover off, it had the, the gasket making goo. It's kind of actually stuck on the chain. So another, another fun little uh, Easter egg here. Alright, got the crank out, and uh, it doesn't look horrible. Um, I put the uh, caps back on the on the uh, on my engine, so I'll show you that in a second. This is the rear main seal that I pulled out of there. Um, I didn't know that you're supposed to put um, gasket sealant down in the threads of the caps, because that's where all of that was in every single one of these. It had some kind of uh, gasket sealer shoved into the hole, so I'm kind of glad I pulled that out. But uh, anyway, uh, block is stripped completely. Um, bearings are still in there. I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna drop them off over at the machine shop just like this. So um, I'm gonna strap this down to a pallet at some point and load it in the back of the truck and, and drive it over to the machinist at some point in the next week. I've got uh, a couple more days and I'm gonna be busy. So. This is uh, the winter project.